Hey guys, it's Liko. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue on and do my June TBR. Now that video, I was going to do them both, my wrap up and my TBR. I just didn't want the video to be insanely long. So I separated it for you guys. I don't know if it's always going to be that way, but it's just going to be that way for now. But I wanted to go ahead and just go over the stuff in my TBR. Now, if you hear noises, uh, like people walking upstairs, it's my husband. He's cleaning up and he's packing up some stuff. I told him I wasn't going to help him pack upstairs because I had videos to film and I had to, but I'd pack up my books. Now, I already have 19 boxes of books packed up and then I still have a full bookshelf. So I told him that when I was done filming, I would pack up all my books and then that was it because I. I'm like I have editing and stuff to do but tomorrow I'm down tomorrow he's got I you know he's got me so um yeah so we're just gonna jump into my TBR here the first series that I want to read is the hush hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick now these books have mixed reviews there have been really good reviews and really bad reviews. So basically, I'm noticing that if people didn't like Twilight, they're not going to like these books. So, because it's kind of like a Twilight ripoff type of thing, that what they're saying. But I am not ashamed to say that I love Twilight. Twilight got me into reading and I reread Twilight all the time. The book was so much better than the movie. Yeah, it was cheesy, but the movie made it cheesier. So I'm not ashamed to say I really loved it. And I'm already starting to read this book. I'm on page 115 and I love this book. This book is great. So I'm excited because I was afraid that I wasn't gonna love it. But you know what? I'm not ashamed to say I love Twilight and I'm not ashamed to say I'm gonna love this one too. This is about a girl named Nora and she is trying not to fall in love with the fallen angel but she does and his name is patch so it's going to be one of those awesome guilty pleasure eh, paranormal romance type of deals and i can get down with that so if the lighting changes in here it's because it's kind of it's partly cloudy and i had the overhead lighting on in a previous video for a while but it just didn't really look right in my video, so I was just like, fuck it, and just turn the light off. So we're just doing natural lighting today. And then, when I'm done with that, I'm going to read, you know, Crescendo, which is the second book in Hush Hush. Then we have Silence, the third book. And then the last book is Finale. So I'm excited to read these. These are pretty quick, so I'm probably gonna read them all in a week. So I say that's probably my first week of reading in June. I also am going to read The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Mass. I read the Throne of Glass book and I did not like that book. Oh, I mean, just hear me out. I mean, I did a shit review for that book and there's a lot of reasons why I didn't like that book, but I do like the concept of Throne of Glass and my friends who love that series are like, oh, but they get better with each book. You you really should read them. So I'm like, okay, I'll give it a shot. And then my friend tells me that Assassin's Blade was really good and it kind of gives you a background story about, you know, what happened before Throne of Glass. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll just, I'll read that one. And then I'll go ahead and read Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, you know, just read them all. But, um, I really loved her A Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy. I really, really, really loved that. So I'm willing to give Throne of Glass a chance, even though the first book was not my favorite book. I did give it a lower rating than I wanted to, but I am going to give the whole series a chance as a whole. And uh, I'm going to start off with this one <laughs> and see if I like this one a lot better. So. I'm also going to read a book that my friend wrote. She's a YouTuber, or booktuber, I should say. It's Unicorn Hunting by A.R. Hellbender. Uh, Roya, I'm reading this. I'm reading this this month, I promise. I'm going to, um, 
uh, review it for her also. Um, I did not get this book for free. I um, did not, you know, she didn't give it to me in exchange for a review or anything. Um, I bought this book with my own money because I wanted to support her and I wanted to support her channel. And I also wanted to give her a good book review, like a good honest review. So I'm really excited to read this book. It's about a unicorn hunter cow or Kaylin and she basically questions herself like should should we really hunt unicorns like is there really a need or or is this necessary so I guess it's from what I'm reading on the back it's about a unicorn hunter who doesn't know if hunting unicorns is good like she kind of questions her morals and um like in the back it says it's a coming of age story and I love coming of age stories because your characters grow in the book and then it's always something that you can relate to. Like in every coming of age story you can relate to at least something in that book to where it sticks with you. So I'm really excited to review this and I will have a separate video for this whenever it does come out. You hear my cat fucking off in there? So annoying. Also going to read Winter Song. Um, I've had this book for a few months. I've been dying to read this book. It's about the Goblin King, and um, I'm saving it though. I'm saving it for a buddy read with Melissa, and she wants to read this book. So I'm like, yes, yes, let's read this book this month. So uh, whenever she's ready for it, I'm saving this book for. Um, for that and I love budding reading with her she's so much fun she has a Facebook group if you want to join us on our buddy reads and feel free to like the page and be involved this month we're going to be reading Geekerella and I'm really excited for that one too like as soon as that one comes in the mail I'll be picking that one up and reading it so but yeah the Goblin King I've never read a book about the Goblin King before, never. So this is going to be really, really exciting. If you've read this book, please let me down, know like down in the comments, like if you've liked it um, or if you would like me to do a video review of this book, I would love to do that too. This one I found at my local thrift store. It is a Guilty Pleasure Beach Read. And it's The Au Pairs by Melissa de la Cruz. And there are some bikini butts on the front. So, um, I have a TBR jar, so I kind of like pick from my jar mostly. Like I pick about like between 20 and 60 books because I have like 250 books on my TBR. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to pick from this section of books and I'm going to read these. And then I'm going to get another section because I really need to knock that down. Um, but I probably need to do like a TBR tag or something because I have so many damn books in my TBR. But uh, this one, I feel like I have to read it in the summer because there's bikini butts on the front. So I'm going to read this this month and it looks like it's going to be fun. I also picked up Someone Like You by Sarah Dessen and this one has feet and a beach on it and it's the start of summer. So I need to read more beach books. So this is my second beach read. I'm also gonna read You. It's by Caroline Kept, Kepness, I think. I don't wanna butcher her name, but I think it's Caroline Kepness. And um, Stephen King even blurred it and said, hypnotic and scary, totally original. So this, my husband's moving stuff upstairs, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a book about a girl who gets her credit card. Well, she loses her credit card and a guy finds it and then he uses her credit card to track her down and he starts stalking her and everything. So um, this looks like it'd be one of those like thriller books that will probably put me on like the edge of my seat. But my card was full so I had to fix it. My friend Lisa over at Coffee Beans and Bookmarks is doing this uh, Pokemon badge challenge that she created and I'll do a video for my book picks for that when I find them all. <laughs> I'm trying to move now and but um, one of her choices for her badge challenge was Shatter Me 
and I have the box set right here of Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me. And she wanted to read this for her challenge was for the uh, the bug badge. Um, you know, a book that's been bugging you, like you have to read it. So I'm like, hey, can I buddy read this with you? Like, I've been dying to read this book too. So this is also gonna be my bug badge pick. And you have six months to read the books. I need to just link her channel down below in the video. So if you wanna do the challenge too, then feel free to join. Like she wants people to join her, do this, have so like have some fun with it. I don't know if she's gonna do like a Twitter page or something for it, but um, I'll have to ask her because that would be interesting. But I am really excited for the challenge and I'm also really excited to read this book. I don't know if I'll read all three of them this month, but the goal is to read all three of them because now that I'm out of my reading slump, I'm probably going to read a lot. I'm trying to read maybe a book a day or every few days and um, I read really fast so I know I can do it, but maybe this is just like, maybe I've set my goals too high, oh well. but. If I can't read them all then whatever I'm not gonna beat myself up over it because even if I can read one book that month that is still a really good month because you should be reading all the time even if it's just one book so if you're so busy in your life but you still manage to read one book every month that's still 12 books a year and that's great I'm gonna read these three hopefully last book that I'm gonna try to get to this month it's probably gonna take me quite a bit um, it's George R. R. Martin's A Dance with Dragons. This is the last book that he has so far for the Game of Thrones. This is book five. Um, I did hear that his sixth book is coming out sometime this year. Hopefully, I'm hoping so. So I'll be ready for it. Whenever it does decide to make its fucking appearance, I'll be here, you know, like, hey, waiting. But, um,. I haven't seen the show at all. I've seen half the pilot and I told myself I'm going to read these books before I watch the TV series. So my goal was to read all five of them by July when the new season comes out. And I started the first one in January and here I am. Here's book five. So I think I did it. I, I made my goal. So as long as I read this, I hit my goal. Um, this book has, let's see, I know the audiobook has it at 49 hours of listening time that's crazy but it's 1051 pages and I'm ready for it but since I just read Feast for Crows uh, it's such a high epic fantasy that you have to put like devote all your time to it and you have to pay attention you have to uh, you really invest with the story so I feel like since that was kind of like taxing on my brain. <laughs> I loved it, but it was taxing that I need to read like a few smaller books and then I'll read this one. Cause this one's probably gonna take me, if I really buckled down and read this, it'd probably take me a week. Cause I mean, I do still have kids, <laughs> but um, it'd probably take me a week. So when I'm done reading this book, I know you guys have requested me to do a box set review because I have this box set. It's torn up though because when I was reading these books, the spines kind of got cracked because they're so fat and chunky, which made the books wider than they normally are because I was reading them. See, I like butchered these just by reading them. That this part doesn't want to close anymore. And I'm afraid that once I read this fifth one, this whole box set's just gonna fall apart. And I'm sad. But I do have the like leather bound, like the floppy box set on my bookshelf right now. So once I'm done reading these, I will do like a box set comparison video and I'll even do like compare the prices and the quality and everything. So if you guys are in the market to buy a box set like this, then um you'll know which ones that you'll want. Like, I, I spent the money for the leather bound one because I, he's not supposed to be on the counter. 
um, because I know I'm probably going to reread these at some point in my life and I don't want the books to fall apart. I want my kids to be able to have them because they're really good and I don't want the books to fall apart on them. Like they're falling apart on me as I'm reading them. So yeah, but that's it. So for my June TBR, I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14 books, which I think I can do, maybe, I think I can do, um, that's averaging about like a book every two days, but with Dance with Dragons, I think that book's gonna run into July, but we'll see, we'll see how good, or how that works, so yeah, but if you like this video, then uh, just give me a thumbs up, and if you don't want to miss any more videos from me, then hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next video.